Welcome to Coin Roller, where we take a look at new altcoins, suspect what's interesting about them, and analyze from a casual investor's perspective. Let's begin. First token for the week is Nexera. Nexera is a fully compliant multi chain platform that bridges traditional finance with DeFi, integrating blockchain technology seamlessly. Highlights of Nexera include targeting over $100 trillion in traditional finance, partnered with 50 plus industry leaders, integrates with 14 plus networks, and is ISO compliant. Regarding its utility, Nexera is utilized for transactions, real world assets, rewards distribution, burning fees, tokenization, and staking purposes. So regarding Nexera's roadmap, it includes DEX 2.0 development, Nexera ID implementation, mobile support, data tunnel integration, bridging solutions, onboarding partners, and more. The Nexera team comprises over 60 professionals based in Utrecht. CEO Rashid Ajaja brings over 15 years of experience in financial markets. So crunching down on numbers, current market capitalization stands at $175 million. Considering the anticipated multi-billion dollar value of the decentralized finance sector five years from now, the token's valuation appears undervalued. Nexera has a maximum supply of 850 million tokens with 93% currently in circulation. The token benefits from deflationary quarterly buybacks as well. Presently, there are 22,999 holders of Nexera tokens on the Ethereum network, and this number continues to grow every day. But most importantly, is it worth bagging? Nexera is targeting the $100 trillion traditional finance market. Traditional finance lacks a straightforward and compliant method to connect to blockchain technology. Alliance Blocks serves as the gateway unlocking the numerous benefits of blockchain technology for Tradeify. So for me, Nexera is going to be big in the future, especially traditional companies are now diving into the blockchain space. I think this is definitely something you should look forward to. And I give it an abroad. Second token we have for the week is Meadow. Bad Mad Robots is a free-to-play multiplayer AAA-rated shooter game where gamers can't earn through purchasing in-game items and cosmetics. Highlights of Metal include, it's a Web3 AAA-rated game that is listed on Steam and Epic Games. It has partnerships with over 12 major esports teams, and Metal will be used for various purposes including burning, NFTs, revenue sharing, in-game items, rewards, and its presence on esports. So regarding Metal's plans, the full game will be released on Epic Games, Steam, and other platforms along with the release of a comprehensive white paper. The Metal team comprises industry veteran developers with experience from titles such as Call of Duty Cold War, Dying Light 2, Illivium, and many more. So crunching down on numbers, current market capitalization stands at $37 million with a fully diluted market capitalization of $139 million. Metal has a maximum supply of 2.75 billion tokens with 26% currently circulating. There are no further token unlocks scheduled for 2024, which supports the current token valuation. Additionally, there are a total of 3,600 holders within the Binance chain network currently. But when all that is said and done, is it even worth bagging? With over 3 billion gamers worldwide, Bad Mad Robots is poised to make a significant impact with their AAA rated game developed by industry veterans. Meta will benefit from extensive marketing and streaming campaigns to reach a wide audience. I sincerely think this is going to be really big. Definitely should be added to your watch list. And that's an immediate abroad. Third token for the week is Zeus Network. Zeus Network stands out as a symbol of creativity in the blockchain technology field, utilizing the strengths of Solana and Bitcoin to build a decentralized layer that goes beyond traditional limits. So regarding its token utility, Zeus can be used as a security, ensuring a strong and secure environment for transactions. Also, it can be used in accessing gas, fuel, and services. Lastly, it can be used as governance and incentives within its own network. Their roadmap for 2024 is well-defined. They are set to release Zeus Staking, Zeus Layer Mainnet Beta, and Apollo Mainnet. So by the year's end, they aim to also launch the Zeus Layer Mainnet Beta. Crunching down on numbers, current market capitalization is only $147 million. Considering the caliber of this top-tier project supported by prominent names in crypto, it appears significantly undervalued. Zeus has a total token supply capped at 1 billion. The initial circulating supply is 167.5 million tokens, which constitute 16.75% of the total supply. Presently, there are 106,697 holders on Zeus tokens within the Solano network. But most importantly, is it even worth bagging? Zeus Network represents a pioneering platform that harnesses the combined strengths of Solana's speed and Bitcoin's reliability. By integrating these qualities, Zeus Network establishes a decentralized layer capable of operating seamlessly and without constraints. Looks like this is something really new to the game. I think it's going to be a game changer. And for that, we give it on a prod. Last token for the week is Epoch. 
Epoch is on a mission to build Epoch Island, aiming to establish it as a network state by the year 2030. They want to create a community-owned economy, aka a decentralized Silicon Valley primarily for fellow individuals in crypto. Epoch aims to become a global hub for crypto innovation by 2030. Epoch Island could emerge as the most significant on-chain economy ever established. What are the benefits if you're a holder of Epoch? V Epoch holders can vote on decisions related to governance and the management of the treasury. Two, V Epoch holders receive Epoch tokens whenever profits from the island are shared. Three, holding V Epoch also entitles holders to a portion of the trading fees currently set at 2.5% for each transaction. So project down on numbers, current market capitalization is only $6.4 million, indicating a highly undervalued project considering its utility. The total token supply is 79 million, but it's worth noting that this is a deflationary token with a capped supply. Presently, there are only 1,332 holders, suggesting a need for observation. It's possible that the marketing efforts haven't been fully developed yet, but this is generally low. So other things to consider, the token is in fair launch, there are no VCs or angel investors, and also nearly 100% of the tokens are already in circulation. But with all that is said and done, is it even worth bagging? As unlikely as it may seem, Epoch is actively pursuing global recognition as a sovereign state with a target set for 2030. This time frame aligns with pivotal developments orchestrated by influential global figures. The world is undoubtedly undergoing a significant transformation, indicative of a strategic agenda unfolding. And so this is where Epoch actually stands. This is going to be a promising long, long-term project. And for that, we give it an abroad. Thank you so much for joining us in this week's Coin Roller. If you have any tokens you'd like us to look into for next week, just comment down below and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Coin Web3 TV. And to all the upcoming altcoins out there, ooh, watch out, because for sure you'll be under the Coin Roller. This is Chef Rod. Always be sure to do your own research and see you guys again next Thursday. Peace.